And how about acupuncture's direct effect on the nervous system? Like one of the things I saw was you're part of the Acupuncturists Without Borders Association, like specifically working to treat PTSD um, and trauma with acupuncture. So what can you tell me about how acupuncture is working for those sort of conditions? Yes, yes, it's it's so true and so powerful, so impactful um, socially too. Um, Even for people who are trying to recover from drug addiction, some of these same points are very helpful. But I, I, I've been trained by a group called Acupuncturists Without Borders, as you, have you, as you mentioned. They're just like doctors without borders. They travel around the world. Um, I haven't yet gone on mission, let's say, but it's, this is the training. Um, you, you, you may travel around the world and you assist people when there's been a disaster or a catastrophe, like an earthquake or uh, refu- refugees. Um, after 9-11, they were there. Um, Haiti. They, so they go to places like this and they, they offer only a few points on the ear and some meditation and coaching in that manner to help the people who have experienced disasters recover more quickly, gently from post-traumatic stress and also to provide for the caregivers who are receiving secondary stress or compassion fatigue by working with these as a first responder. So it helps take that kind of pressure away too. Incredibly powerful. Um, Again, panic attacks and so on. Similar, drug addiction. It helps take all of that that stress and pressure out and away from the nervous system, sympathetic, which is the fight, flight, freeze um, primarily, and helps activate the parasympathetic or relaxation response of the body. Not to mention that there are, as I mentioned, neurotransmitters released like endorphins and and others. Um, And this is incredibly powerful um, because within 20, 30 minutes, a person is completely within reason decompressed. Of course, they do have to go home again. And what that looks like maybe means they come back again tomorrow or next week or next month or whatever. Hopefully the level of pressure, um, you know, is dissipates, but, but yes, hugely powerful for your nervous system. They've done a number of studies with these ear points, and there's over 100 just on your ear, using functional MRI to study the changes in your brain activity with these different combinations of acupuncture points. Very high tech. Again, this is the modern science research that's being used behind how acupuncture affects your body. Not to mention, just as a trivia, they've measured with, I think, an electron microscope. They've imaged what are the actual meridians of the body. So there's a physical component to this energy medicine, much like you'd say with um, quantum physics, the particles in the atom, they're not really solid, they're vibrating. Everything is energy, everything is vibration. It only seems solid, but in fact, everything is vibrating. And acupuncture is similar. That energy can be, has physicality, if you will, and they're sort of seeing it besides the effect. Again, small side note, just trivial, but how cool, right? So that's, interesting. That's super fascinating what you mentioned about the, the ear acupuncture having mm-hmm. noticeable changes like in MRI studies. Do you mm-hmm. remember like specifically what they were seeing with, with brain changes from your acupuncture? I wish I could cite off the top of my head, but they've been funded by the National Institutes of Health. One of the institutes is devoted to alternative and complementary medicine, or I should say complementary and alternative medicine. That's how they abbreviate it, N-I-C-A-M. Uh, thousands of studies, um, not all functional MRI, but in general. Um, however, if, you're, if your listeners or viewership want to check out Battlefield Acupuncture, Battlefield Acupuncture was developed by a medical doctor, Air Force. He was an Air Force colonel, physician who worked with soldiers on the battlefield um, for rapid pain relief using ear points. Um, like we talked about stress a moment ago, where you don't have to take off your helmet, you can put them on the ear. They're that accessible. And you don't have to take opiates for pain because that compromises your, that, that compromises your mission when you take opiates, so ear points. And this doctor has connections with the functional MRI studies. So you could Google or whatever, battlefield acupuncture, and it's a colonel, I forget his name off the top of my head, I, I'm sorry, but he deserves all the credit in the world because he's gotten decades of work behind all of this um, and nervous system. It, it relieves pain quickly. It, it helps the military. They, they do 
what they call military stress fatigue clinics in VA hospitals for the same soldiers that are coming back with post-traumatic stress or for other reasons. Acupuncturists without borders and, and groups like that have created the framework where all this is possible. So, yes. but, so functional MRI, maybe look at battlefield acupuncture, connection, National Institutes of Health, et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's there. You just can't help yourself, can you?